to a new tips and tricks and in today's episode we're going to look at harness lines we're going to look at the, the length of the harness lines and the positioning uh, and how to be really nice and comfortable in your sailing position so as you advance with your windsurf and you get plane in you kept going faster then you want to get into your harness it's going to take less pressure off your hand off your arms and uh, it's going to generally get you in a better position while you're sailing along so the first thing to think about with your harness lines is how long you want them now to start with, if you're going to purchase a harness line or if you're at a center, I would recommend you go for some adjustable harness lines. Uh, this means you can, you know, play around with the length a little bit and can decide which length is best for you. And then in the future or down the line, if you want to purchase new harness lines, you know exactly what length you want to go for. Now, generally, the best way to get a rough harness line length for you is you put sort of your elbow into the harness line and you see where your hand touches on the boom. I wouldn't go any smaller than your wrist. Um, but generally the rule is nowadays it's better to have a little bit longer harness line. With the longer lines, first of all, it's going to keep the sail more upright and you leaning out. Uh, that's just going to keep the s more leverage on the sail and you're going to get more speed and the sail is going to work better generally uh, when it's more upright. Uh, and then the other good point about it is it's going to allow you to have more movement to move around. If it's really tight and close to you, then any little gust or chop is going to uh, sort of knock you off or, or put you off balance more. So if you're in doubt, just go one size up. Now, obviously, you don't want your harness lines too long. If you find your arms are really straight while you're sailing along or if you've got a bent over sort of bad posture, you've probably got a little bit too long harness line. So, you know, maybe go back and shorten them if you've got the adjustable ones or probably get a, a smaller pair of harness lines. OK, so now we're going to look at the positioning on the harness lines on the boom. Now, on some of the brands, again, they actually have a really helpful sort of little sticker to give you a general um, place where to put the harness lines. Now, if your cell doesn't have a sticker where to put the general placement of your harness lines, the best way to figure it out is to actually just go on the water and you're gonna get a really good feel by that way. Um, you know, the best way to figure it out is to try and almost let go with both hands or sort of play sort of the piano with both hands. And if your cell isn't jolting to one way or another, then you're in the right placement. If you let go with your front hand, and the sail just goes way towards the back, then you've got to move them forwards a little bit. And the other way, if you let go with your back hand and the sail kind of just jolts towards the front, then you probably got to move your harness lines a little bit further back. Now, generally also heavier riders tend to move their harness lines a little bit towards the back. And if you're a lighter rider like myself, I always, where, even where the sticker is, I always like to move them a little bit further forwards. Um, and then again, if the conditions change on the water, if it gets really windy and you're feeling quite backhanded uh, and you can't sheet in with the sail, just move those harness lines a little bit further back and that's going to help you. And if it's a little bit lighter wind and you want to try and get up wind a little bit more, then again, move those a little bit further forwards and that's going to help you up. Now, a little tip that I can give to some people if you're struggling to get planing out there is maybe your harness lines are a little bit too far forward. That means the sail's almost sheeted out and you're not getting the full power of the rig. So by moving those harness lines back a little bit, it enables the sail to sheet in and to get a bit more power. And hopefully you'll get a bit faster and get onto the plane a bit quicker. And lastly, we're going to look at the distance between the harness lines themselves. So if you have them really close together, that can actually help when it's lighter winds, actually. And it gives you a lot more maneuverability within the sail. If it's really strong winds and it's getting re you're getting really pulled in and out everywhere, then put them a little bit further apart and that's going to give you more control. If you have them too far apart, it's going to be difficult to find that perfect balance in the sail, actually, and it's going to make you feel a little bit slower. So don't put them too far apart. I'd keep them. A rough guide is to have them sort of uh, one hand or one wrist apart to start with, and then you can have a little play. So that was the tips and tricks on harness lines. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned from it. If you did, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to Lagoon Water Sports. And if you have any ideas on what you'd like to see next, uh, put it down in the comments or give Lagoon or me a little message and hopefully we'll get that done in a future video.